I put my dot here and I made a dot with my pencil. Probably ought to go ahead and put a circle around it even though you can't see it very well here. But uh, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this print and I'm going to run it up and down the side here with my straight edge right on that line. And I want you to remember this is the next thing. One of the things about this method, it can kind of get hard, is that uh, you want to probably use the same kind of paper to back your print. And your print, if you just go with your printing paper, it's very thin in comparison to our thick 300 series, you know, Strathmore. And so it's so thick that it gets very difficult to slide a ruler and a, you know, and the print along without it hanging up somewhere because this would be lower than this is. And so it keeps hanging up on the paper all the time when you try and slide it. So it makes it a lot easier. In fact, this is actually what it allows you to do. And you find you can hold this in its place much easier. Putting your hand on there, making sure everything's lined up and you want to continue developing that habit of making sure that things are not only lined up when you start, but line up when you go to make your line because otherwise you're going to end up by having variations. And when you're shooting a gun, uh, you know, you, it only has to be off just a tiny little bit to miss the target by quite a bit by the time it gets out to a car, uh, to the, uh, you know, the target. Uh, and I, it's just that as first thing that came to my mind, uh, anything, if we were going to, uh, you know, start walking in a certain uh, in a certain direction. We're going to want to know exactly where we're going to be, direction we're going to be walking if we're going to meet our target, if we're going to meet that intersection, just going cross country or whatever. I, I don't know. If you're going to, that's how they figure out stars and all kinds of things, you know, because they, they, uh, they know their trajectory. Maybe I'm not using the right terminology, but anyway. Now, I'm going to get my bigger one. I keep forgetting I've, I went to uh, Hobby Lobby with my last project and I was able to find the two foot ruler which is so nice. I was fighting that so often on camera here and uh, I'm lining it up with this dot right here and I'm going to come right through making sure this stays parallel. I don't want it to move and I'm going to make my line. This is my horizontal diagonal, we're, we're modifying the way we're calling it, uh, bearing line. And now I'm going to come down here and let's go outside. It's, always, it's best to do it outside. I mean, you could, you could go inside the edge if you don't have enough room. It just gets, again, harder to drag this piece of paper with the ruler on the, you know, the friction just makes it harder to keep it adjusted. So that's that's the only drawback. I'm uh, I developed this uh, when I was working uh, as a draftsman and doing architectural rendering, and I had a drafting arm and everything else. So I just I just said, well, I could do the same thing with a straight edge and divider, and and carry in some other principles that I want to use, and uh, and so you know everything you it seems like everything I've done has always come in handy for something else later on in life. And so it's really nice to be able to have that opportunity to say, hmm, now this is missing something, but it still will be very useful. So I'll add it to something else I know. Now we're going to, you can't see my pencil, but I'm right up at the top of the page. I'm going to come right on down through that main bearing point for my vertical diagonal line. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, if you did, uh, subscribe below and uh, also share it with your friends. So we'll see you in the next one.